Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make these adorable little burst-out elephants, so stick around. Okay, got my little elephant, and this is the Humphrey ele elephant, which is the boy elephant. Humphrey, we can get him on Amazon. There's some other places as well, but I usually just get mine on Amazon. So what I do is I keep this one and then the girl one the pink one in my cart saved for later and that way amazon will alert me if the price ever drops because they are about 12 dollars each so this product my client price when they purchase one of these from me is about 25 dollars plus tax i used to be 35 but i have lowered the price recently just to compete with the local market and sometimes i am able to get them on sale so i figured that cost should eventually offset. So these are a little difficult to do. Sometimes I don't use my heat press for these. I do use my iron. I use a Teflon sheet to protect my iron and my product from my iron because like my iron has a spot on it. So I try to be careful with that. So I use this and then I use HTV. So I've got two different ones I'm going to do. I'm gonna start with this one. Oh, no. I'm gonna start with this one here. So I've got a little boy one to do. And what I do is I always do the boy last name in a big E or whatever the letter is. And then their name is in blue. If it's for a girl, I use white with pink on a pink elephant. Now I have this design I purchased originally from Etsy and then I revamped it to work for the specs that I needed because it didn't actually work the way I wanted it to, to. So normally I used to have it in a different font but the font kept messing up whenever I would cut it because it was just so tiny. So I actually just revamped this file to make it um, all just Arial Black as far as most of the letter except this one which I think that's Algerian, I can't remember. So, and it just has the little toes. So I always start by preheating my elephant and I'm gonna start with the side that has the name. I always put the name on the left, stats on the right, name on the left, stats on the right. And to heat this bad boy up, the first thing you can do is you can always just kind of lay it flat with like a nice solid surface and then heat it up. I'm gonna use my Teflon sheet just because again, my iron has some stuff on it and I'm gonna do my best to be really careful. Now you'll notice that when I'm preheating, I'm not getting this little section back in here. So what I actually end up doing most of the time is I flip the little guy over with him on his side and I preheat him and I put everything on him and kind of smoosh his face. And I know that sounds terrible, but you're likely to get a better heat when you do it like that. So it seems a little weird because you're smushing the poor little dude, but I'm not very happy that this one has a line through it, but what can you do? It's just from where it's creased and eventually that'll probably go away, even maybe with us pushing on it. So we'll see. So the way this will work is we'll start with the E and the E is going to go probably about here because you want enough room for your foot. So what I do is I just kind of line up my big letter and then I, since I use this little hack of using these page protectors after I weed my HTV, I put it on here, one, so it keeps the HTV from getting any like fuzz or anything like that in their hair and it also keeps all my projects in one place. So what I can do though is I can actually use this to make sure that I've got it lined up and that's gonna fit nicely and then I can make sure that my my toesies there are gonna fit and they are so yay so we'll just start with the E and again I just kind of smush his face you don't want to leave your iron on too long you do want to give it some pressure but not too long because HTV does shrink as it heats so you want to get all the layers on and then give it a nice even one now I will say because of the ears, and I forgot to do that, you wanna make sure with these ears that you make sure all the hairs are going the same way, just so that when you put your HTV down, it makes it a little even. You will have some weird looking spots on it when you finish, 
and that is because of the hair moving back and forth like if you move the hair opposite of which way the um There we go. And I just kind of, I just kind of eyeball everything. I'm an eyeballer. I've been doing this so long. You can fold it in half and find the center crease, but I've been doing this for quite a while. So I tend to just kind of eye it. Like there I'm using Edwards at the bottom to line it up with that part of the E. But anyway, you want to make sure that all of the hair is going the same way because it will that's the only thing about these, but they're not meant to be like played with all the time. They're kind of more of like gift pieces to hold on to. So we're just gonna kind of boop, boop, boop. We also don't want to get the lines of the um, pieces on your other HTV. So you just want to do a little and then let up. And then what we can do is we can go ahead and get that down really good just by squishing his face and I know that seems weird and I like to move my iron because my iron does have the little dots on the bottom and so I like to try and make sure that I don't end up with dots on the item now I can tell that this is done because you can see I'm gonna try to you can see the line oh that was hot you can see the lines of the fabric through my HTV and that tells me that it is adhered on there really well okay there you go all right so now I'm going to do the toes and I like the toes to kind of be at a little bit of an angle and again this is all HTV you cut it just how you would any other HTV making sure you mirror it shiny side down for most HTV like the sizer easy weed that I use is shiny side down. I'm just going to push that lightly and then pull the paper and then I will do another big push or yeah. So and then I just cut and weeded it like I have in prior videos and this one we might need to do the toes flat. Let's see if we can get them flat enough. There we go. I'm kind of pushing down. Oh, my head might have gotten in the way. I apologize. There we go. Let's see how that looks. Beautiful. He got a little crease on his toes, but I think that just adds to the little baby toes look. So now this is what we've got. We've got one ear done, and then we're going to work on the other ear. Okay. So again, I'm just going to do it with the body up and squish them boop, boop, boop. just to preheat that okay and then slide all my hairs one way okay now this can be the tricky part i am probably i'm going to start with the larger of the two which is the blue one to make sure it's all going to fit because i did just change all those fonts and whatnot but it does look like it's gonna fit just fine yay kind of look at it yep that looks good all right yay and then you can also just before you push the other one down again use this little trick to kind of line this up and make sure that your everything's gonna fit because that am is gonna be a little tight there but i think it'll work i may have to cut it off and put it on there separately so and again we're just squishing his face Sorry, buddy. I'm just kind of squishing. And let's see if that's adhered enough. Be a little gentle with those numbers because sometimes when you, when you go down, when you pull it, sometimes if they're not on there all the way, they can come up. But we, won't, we don't need to do a whole long time again because we still have another layer to put on there. And then this is where it gets kind of tricky because you got to make sure you've lined everything up. I attached everything before I cut it, so it should all be lined up just right. But again, sometimes your HTV one can shrink a little bit, and two, these hairs, there we go, can kind of make it move. So I think that, ah, uh, that little white at the bottom, there we go. 
So you just kind of got to do your best to line it up and just be careful because those hairs kind of move. And so the blue layer kind of already may have adjusted just a little bit, which may have caused it to just be off. So you just got to really try your best to put that on there where it goes. Okay. And then we're just going to peel that off. Yay. It's always so satisfying doing that. All right. And now I'm going to do this again where I'm going to just try to flatten him down the best that I can. And push. And again, I'm going to move my iron around because mine has the little holes. And I just want to make sure that nothing's getting little bubbles because of the holes. And I think I do need to do that four. I think the way I had that. Ouch. Oh, it's high, high, high. So I do need to do that little four right here in the corner. And so sometimes I'll just do that one little section. And then I'm just going to check to make sure I can see the fabrics. Definitely can up top there. That nine and the eight. So everything on this side, I can definitely see it. But the nine and the eight, I think I need a little bit more. So I'm going to try to squish his face a little better. Move this little. And try to get in that corner a little better. And just kind of push down. There we go. I think I've got it. All right. There we go. Okay. Yay. And there's our little Birkstadt elephant. So cute. If I can get it where you can see the whole little guy. He's so cute. I love these little things. These are perfect for gifts for new parents. And these make great little keepsakes for their children as it has all of their information. As someone who went looking for my own personal information when I was pregnant with my daughter and realized nobody has any idea what time I was born or how much I weighed or my length, I would have loved to have this as something that I had um, with my own personal information on it. So it's just kind of nice because over time, you know, that information can be hard to remember. So these are perfect little gifts. And there you go. That's how you do it. So hopefully this video was helpful for you. Now you know how to make these cute little elephants with birth stats that make perfect gifts for new babies. And they come in gray or pink. Um, they come wrapped like this when you get them in from Amazon and they turn out just so cute and make perfect little gifts. So you can do elephants. There's also some other animals that have big ears or they have ones that have big bellies that you can actually put the HTV on and they work perfectly for gifts for new babies. So yay, hopefully this video was helpful for you. If so, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit subscribe and ring that bell so you can be notified the next time I post a tutorial. Thanks for stopping by my channel. Bye.